戦闘開始私の幸運と張り合いたいやつはかかってくるのだ Hello and welcome! Today we are in the Tier 8 Japanese Destroyer, Yuki Kaze Nanota. I am playing with Streps, who is in the Mogami. Well, this match actually happened a while ago. It's been sitting on my to do list for a very long time. Anyway, we have 8 km torpedoes because that's what Yuki Kaze has. My build is a little unsatisfactory for that. I don't have RPF, which I think is extremely useful when you have very short range torpedoes because well right now look at my current position what i want to do is i want to be aggressive i want to push in try to torpedo some of these ships the trouble is that i don't know where the enemy destroyers are right there could be one straight in front of me now i'm not too worried right now because i'm in a division with straps who is in the mogami not very far behind me but nevertheless I don't know where the destroyers are, and I could be in for a bad surprise. So, with RPF, I could rest easy, right? I would know RPF would sit on the Admiral Hipper, then swap to the Yamagi, and I wouldn't have to worry too much. Now, I am wondering what the Yamagi is gonna do, because she did spot me for a moment, but she doesn't seem to be trying to do anything to... Avoid the torpedoes. I'm like, what are you doing? This is gonna hurt, buddy. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> uh, that's that's most of your HP, man. That's most of your HP. All gone just because you decided not to use WAST. By the way, for all of you watching, I do really, really, really recommend using WASD hacks. It's 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 the most OP thing ever. It allows you to avoid damage. Crazy, huh? Anyway, the guns are pretty okay for a destroyer on this. Okay, actually I know, the guns aren't great. But I kind of like the way they work. They just feel decent to use for some reason. Also... Other than the range, of course. On the Yuki, because the range is kind of short. But this, on the other hand, means that you can do what I just did, because once I got far away enough, I got unspotted. Very nice. It also tells me that there's no hidden destroyer here, right? Somebody that could suddenly just surprise me somehow. Because I would otherwise still be spotted. You know, I really should be giving a smokescreen to Streffs, but he never asks for it, so... Hmm. Anyway, the Yamagi is down. I think I have to go find myself a new target. That Shimanta is also not gonna be an appropriate target. Maybe the Yumihari, although there was a smokescreen somewhere over there, so maybe... Oh, a Nuremberg. Maybe we can hit this guy. Although German cruisers do have Hydro. But at the same time, it might not be up or it might just not be active. Besides, considering how little HP he has, I think two torps are actually just straight up enough to sink him. Oh, that's, that's looking good. <laughs> oh, you know what? Forget the two torpedoes. One was enough. <laughs> that was a devastating strike from a single torpedo. Man, this is why I really love Yuki Kaze. I know 8 kilometers makes it very risky, but at the same time, these torpedoes hit so incredibly hard. Ships just don't have the kind of HP to tank many of these at this tier. Especially when you end up fighting tier 6s as well. Anyway, next target is obviously going to be the Yumihari. I wonder what the destroyers is, are doing. Like, I, I don't really understand why the Geda didn't try to fight me. Because by doing, I guess maybe the submarine kind of warded him off. Because the submarine would spot him, the submarine would then dive. You know, you get into trouble for a few seconds, you get shot at. And then you can't do anything to the submarine. So maybe I can understand. Hmm. Yumi Hari, what are you going to be doing here? 
Maybe I just chill and wait for him to get a little closer and, you know. Oh, okay, I think he's gonna turn out to fire his guns again. Yeah, he seems to continue turning. Yep, he's definitely turning. But I think my current torps are kind of spot on, so I don't know if the second set is even necessary. I mean, it's not like we're going to use it anyway, but... Yeah, may maybe not even necessary. Okay, never mind. I thought I would hit two. Oh well, it is what it is. Hmm. The hipper is coming closer. I can't smoke up in front of him to start shelling him. He has hydro. So we just have to get further away. Wait a second, there's something in our cap. What the hell? Oh, my second set actually completely missed. But the Yumi Hari is flooding out, so maybe it doesn't even matter. Oh, come on, he survived with 200 HP, and I don't have enough range to engage him. Well, that's a downside of having uh, too little range. Come on, Strefs, I believe in you. I believe that you can deal with the Yumi Hari. Yeah, this guy really is uh, sore, isn't he? Why is he sailing at full speed? Buddy, all you had to do was just stop. Anyway, I can probably safely turn around now. And try to torp the Hipper or Sean Host. Preferably both at the same time with the same torpedo. Although, as far as I understand, that would be difficult. Although, imagine if torpedoes could overpenetrate. Oh boy. Okay, I think I might get into trouble here, because I think I might be a little too close with the Hipper also turning in. But he is low HP, so two torps are probably enough again. Question is if we can land two torpedoes. I'm gonna smoke because he doesn't seem to be hydroing, which also means he might not expect the torpedoes. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, two torpedo, it's devastating strike. Man. Yuki Kazen Nanada is uh, awesome. Just awesome. As long as the smoke screen is between me and the enemies, I can shell. I don't think. No, I can still keep shelling because the. Uh, Yumi Hari is really far away. Oh, <laughs> who put this island here? Come on. Who's guilty of putting this island here? Or did he sail here himself? I guess it might be one of those new islands that uh, is able to move. I mean, we should be able to sink the Shan host with just... Go okay, yeah, we definitely can. Smart. It, it makes sense to shoot back. What the hell? There were like three salvos coming in and none of them were able to finish him off. Wow. Anyway, Sean Host is gone. Time to go after the Yumi Hari. I mean, I, I don't think the enemy team has any real chance of winning at this point, right? There's just no way. We have... I mean, on the other hand, just a single salvo on Streps Mogami, a single salvo on the buyout, they are gone. But I guess the Graf Zeppelin makes it kind of impossible, right? I wonder where their submarine is. We've never seen him, right? Yeah, we've never seen the submarine. Hmm. I guess he must have gone to the other side of the map, but... That seems kind of hard to believe because our submarine is here, right? So that means they should have spawned in like the same spot. I have so much HP I can just tank. Oh, never mind. I was thinking of just shooting and tanking if he shoots me, but I guess not. Uh, can we take the Asashi? I think we can. Although, he is gunfighting a Bayad. I 
don't know if that's gonna work out for you, buddy. I mean, sure, the Bayad is low HP, but the Asashio is firing AP. If he had fired HE, I think two salvos would have been enough to finish him off. But for some reason, he decided to use AP. That's just nonsensical, buddy. Oh, Asashio did actually finish off the Bayad. Nice, well done. You really should have fired HE, though. But uh, I don't think what's coming to you next is going to save you, though. I have every expectation to be able to take this Asashio 1 versus 1. I mean, I know we're very much the same ship. I just trust in my own abilities compared to most players. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know he was this low already. Never mind. You're dead, buddy. He can't even torp me. I could torp him. But there's no need to waste ammunition on this. Okay, so... Here's the question, what do we do now? I mean, it, it's nice to do uh, no cap kill all, but... Um, how the hell do we find a submarine that has never been spotted? I'm just firing my guns to, so that, you know, I get some... Maybe the submarine is AFK. Like, maybe he never actually played. In that case, he'd still be at spawn, right? So where could he be? Well, if our submarine spawned on the western side... Or middle, I guess, I, I'm not sure. Then this submarine would also spawn on the western side, or... In the middle, right? So... If I just fire here and I don't get spotted, then chances are high that he is not in the middle. And it should be on the western edge. I think the spawns are like basically like I-1 or something. Or maybe H-1, I'm not sure. So I'm not getting spotted. I should be covering all of the spawns in the middle already. So unless he's like underwater. I suspect, yeah, he's somewhere over there then. Has to be. Also, uh, I was in voice chat with Treffs and he, I think, had our IPF or something. And told me that that would be roughly where he is. So, I'll just keep shooting to see once I get spotted to get confirmation on where he is. Still unspotted, but I'm still not quite where they would be spawning at. Okay. And I'm spotted. So, we know where she is, right? It's right, right there, basically. Come on. We need to spot the submarine. Oh, I'm unspotted, so it's quite far still. Mm. I mean, we're going to be able to get the submarine before uh, before anybody manages to cap anyway, but it would be nice to get a Kraken. That would be my fifth kill. Oh, there she is. Nice. Okay, time to torp as well, I guess. Just in case, maybe, maybe I don't finish. Wait, how do I deal so little damage? That was a thousand damage. What? What is this? Hello? Where's my damage at? I hit like every other ship for more damage than this. What is this? 700? It's a stationary... St I can't believe I got killed stolen by the other submarine. <laughs> I, I I can't believe how little damage the guns did though. 700 damage on a stationary submarine? What? Oh well, I could have had a Kraken, I could have, but I guess, you know, he was AFK. Wow. Wow! That by a 35 plane kills. Well done, buddy. Really well done.
But I mean, I had a very nice game. 96k damage with the Torps. Only 7 of them, but for a tier 8 trip, that's pretty good. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would like to thank the patrons and patrons. Thank you very much for your continued support. And I hope I'll see you guys next time.